Hello, and welcome to a Silver Proving Grounds guide for Unholy Death Knights. Now you'll notice, I don't have my pet out. What's an Unholy Death Knight without his ghoul? Well, I'm just basically going to show you something that Unholy Death Knights have it really freaking easy when it comes to Proving Grounds. Necrotic Plague is such an amazing thing for just spreading around your damage and just killing everything easy. Um, and Death Knights are naturally pretty strong with being, you know, melee and just being able to unload their runes and everything for, you know, decent bursting down single targets. So you really just don't have any issue. So as you can see here, I'm just going to go, boop, apply my disease on one of you buggers. And you know what? I'm not even going to apply my diseases to you. I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to burn you down. And then I'm just going to drop Death and Decay. And you know what? That should actually be that. we got to wait 20 seconds anyway, so let's see if that's enough. There's also a little bit of experiment about just, like, how much Necrotic Plague actually does. As you can see, that one little Necrotic Plague hit just spread and killed everything. See, will it actually take them out? Yep, it actually did. The one Necrotic Plague took all of them out. So, as you can see, this is without my pet, without any additional damage, without, like, doing really anything. So, as you can see... Unholy Death Knights are pretty mindless, so I'm not actually expecting this video to even get hardly any views, because I just don't think anybody really would have any difficulty with this. It's the simplest. Next to, sh like, comparing Shadow Priest to this, it's kind of ridiculous. And almost at least a little embarrassing about how easy this is. Surprised you actually don't see more Unholy Death Knights running around, or Frost Death Knights. Oh, I'm just going to go ahead and drop that, and hit you with that. And I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, apply diseases on you. And I'm going to kite this over here. Just because I feel that that'll take that out easier. And then I'm just going to dump my runes with Scourge Strikes. And finish you off. And the rest of you guys should die just from the diseases. As you see, it's Necrotic Plague does all the work for you even if with your pet your pet is even your pet is overkill for actually beating this as an unholy death knight it's that necrotic plague i love this talent it's a little awkward for long boss fights but uh, but it's still pretty good and now first real challenge make sure you interrupt that healing spell it's all you really got to do Interrupt the healing spell, dump all of your ray runes and runic power on this bugger, and down he goes. And you don't even have to think about the little ones. You just put your diseases on them, and watch as your necrotic plague does all the work for you. <laughs> like, you know, some of the, the unholy death knights I have found to be the easiest um, silver proving grounds. Alright, let's see, I'm not even using my... Technically speaking, it's a DPS increase to be using your Unholy Bright. Oh, let me interrupt that. Um, because it helps stack your Necrotic Plague up faster. You know, helping it reach those high stacks where it'll do most of its damage really quickly. But it's really unnecessary. Now I'm, of course, using Festering Strike a little bit more often. Just to make sure that the, um, the dot stays on the target at maximum time. But, as you can see, it does so much of your damage. I think, yeah, it's like 27% of my damage. Actually, I'm surprised it's not even more. You know, probably over long dur- It's probably because it's not even reaching its top stacks, and it's 27% of my damage. On, like, a lot of cleave fights, where, like, boss fights, where you upkeep your- where you're spamming Festering Strike to upkeep your Necrotic Plague at its maximum stacks for the entire fight, and it starts jumping to multiple targets that- come in already at maximum stacks let's see I'm gonna just spread that right there interrupt you and boop and that'll be that let's see are you spreading properly no okay let's just go manually apply it then and you get bopped and I smack you there and my soul harvest will take out the rest soul reaper excuse me and let's just apply that there, hit that there, smack you like that, and pop, and he's dead. 
Soul Reaper goes off and he goes down. And <laughs> you can see, I'm not really even having to think too much. Now, s some of it might want to say that, hey, I have a lot of experience with Death Knights, so I'm simply better with this class, but really, this is a put your diseases and insta win, basically. The only thing I could almost think that would be almost easier than this would be a hunter who simply needs to basically right click. You don't even need to use your abilities and your pet and your auto attacks will do practically all of your damage. Let's go ahead and interrupt you. And you hit you with that. And I'm just going to hit you with that. And you're dead. Oh, it's already spread. See? Already spread. And you get hit by that again. I almost wonder if my diseases would be enough to take out everything. Let's just make sure you steer those into that. Make sure you steer him into that. Oh, diseases aren't enough. He's going to actually... But with a couple of those, it doesn't take too much just to smack him down. And that's the entire trial. I don't really have much <laughs> in way of offer of tips other than just get Necrotic Plague. Apply your diseases... And it's pretty much an insta win. You can literally just face roll your face across the keyboard and win after that. Anyways, thanks for watching.